Interval House is Connecticut's largest domestic violence intervention and prevention program. We've been in existence for almost 40 years now. We reach out to 24 towns and communities in and around the Hartford area. It's been six years since we've been there and our basketball team is involved, you know, for that period of time. Uh, Interval House is a place where uh, women can go to get away from physical abuse, mental abuse, emotional abuse. And we go over there probably four or five times a year. Uh, we go over in the summer, the summer, uh, our summer school uh, guys went over and painted fences, okay? And we've gone over other times and just, you know, we put together cribs, we play with the children, we clean up, we rake leaves, we do a a anything that they ask us to do. Uh, my role in the Interval House is more of as a senior uh, leader and advisor. I pretty much, since I've known the people at Interval House for the longest, that everyone else on the team comes to me for advice or asks me what, what are we supposed to do, how are we supposed to help out. So I'm sort of like a supervisor, but I also help out with a lot of big projects that whatever needs done over there. So we were trying to get prominent men in the area to help us get the word out, to help us know, because it always is known as a, traditionally known as a woman's. Uh, issue, but it really isn't. It's a societal issue, and um, we know that one in four women will be uh, affected by domestic violence in her lifetime. On college campuses, it's one in three. When uh, Rosemary Padin, she came to me with the idea of, well, we're starting an organization called Kappa, and which means you'd have to be more involved a member of Interval House, and we would really like you. Central Athletes uh, Peer Ambassadors is a group of students um, founded by myself and some other student athletes on the campus. Uh, we come together and we talk about issues and ideas and ways to uh, protest uh, domestic violence and promote healthy relationships among on-campus students. CAFA, and that stands for College Athlete Peer Ambassadors. These young men and women are ambassadors for other student athletes. Here they can go to one of their friends, they don't have to go to their coach. And they, these um, peer ambassadors, Brandon being one of them, know the referral information, who to call, what numbers if you need help, where to go, so they, they're a resource for other students who may be in an abusive situation um, or may just have some questions, not know if they're in an abusive situation. So they're not experts. We train them in the basics, but they really are a resource. Also, we have a freshman orientation where the Kappa group and Brendan uh, talk about and do a little presentation to teach them opportunities that you have to get involved with us and then the other outreach programs that you can if you ever have an issue. I particularly got involved with CABA because I felt like it was my duty to give back to the community. I did, originally did not do that many um, activities like this in high school so I figured college would be the best chance for me to well promote a healthy and positive atmosphere for others to live by especially dating relationships and domestic violence is such a huge issue. Uh, Brandon truly is a uh, leader, role model, champion. I see it with, among his peers. People do look for Brandon for his opinion. Uh, we created an acronym um, a number of years ago at Central Connecticut for men's basketball, and it's H-A-T. And H stands for humble, A stands for appreciative, and T stands for thankful. And we want all of our players to be humble, appreciative, and thankful. And he is the epitome of all of those three uh, letters. Now his legacy when he um, graduates will be long remembered and all with respect. I think these community service projects have impacted me as a basketball player because I'm actually a firm believer in karma. I feel like the more I help out and I feel like it does better for me. I feel better about myself and it helps my game. You got to feel good to play good. The length for Peel who catches, fires the three, it's good! I do hope to continue a lot of my community service work once basketball is over. I just want to keep helping people, and that's all that matters.